Hello there, we Paddy from across the shock, and how you all doing? Right, true to my word, yesterday I uploaded a video on my traditionals, and I blunted this little knife in front of you, and I said I was going to do a sharpening video, and here is the sharpening video. This is, I can't get it to cut anything. This is completely and utterly blunted. Now, that's it. It's just blunt. So what I'm going to do is sharpen it. And all I'm going to use is these are DMT stones. This is the coarse, which I think is about 320. This is the fine, which I think is about 600. Um, this cost about $15 or £15, probably $15 over there across in the States maybe. Um, this one cost 35 or something, I think. But I bought this before I realised I could get these. And to be honest with you, for hand sharpening, that's quite weighty. It's quite heavy. No, it's fine and I'll use it. Um, I, it'll last me for a long while anyway. The diamonds, just don't put any weight on them and they last here for youngs. But this is a great wee hand sharpening one. I actually have a Russian company. Now, I'm hoping it comes. They're sent me over some of their stones. Um, I'm, and they're smaller. So I'm looking forward to them coming if they come. We'll keep our fingers crossed. You just never know. Uh, people say they're going to send you things and then all of a sudden it doesn't happen. But that's not. So the things happen. Things happen. I didn't mean that in a rude way. So what I'm going to do is to start with, I'm going to do this because I should do it for people who are just starting. This is just quick and easy sharpening for somebody who doesn't do it, who just wants to get into it and wants to do it quickly. You maybe don't have time. A lot of people are working. They're not just sitting about the house like me. So what I'm doing is I'm putting the Sharpie on either side of it there so that I can see where my, if I'm hitting the apex. The apex is the part of the knife up here where the two come together and that's where you get your point, your sharpness. And if you don't get all the way, you can have a mirror polish on this side of it here. But if you actually haven't hit this wee top bit, you're never going to get a sharp knife. It'll cut maybe, uh, but it'll never be great. And although I don't want something that's going to split the hair into three pieces, I wanted to be able to do the jobs that are required on a daily basis for an EDC knife. Now look, this is an under £10 knife, under $10 knife. I think it's cost me £7. Absolutely dirt cheap, cheapest handles. It's now it's sturdy enough. There is a wee bit of wiggle, but not too much. No idea what the steel is, but I know it holds an edge for a fairly good time because I've used it. So let's get started without my old waffle. So I don't use any water or anything with these stones. These are just diamond stones. You can use water with them. Some people do. I just don't. So what I'm going to do is you set your blade down and tilt it up until you can't see. that. Can you see there's a little gap? There's a gap underneath. You put it down like that. Um, this is quite hard to show, but tilt it until you can see no gap and then literally just the nice thing about a Warncliffe is it's a straight blade so you don't have to lift, you just keep going now, turn it over then and check if you've hit now, I had that up too high I've hit my apex alright but I haven't actually hit the, the blade so I need to drop it down just a little bit and what I tend to do in the beginning until I get across it, this is just me, I do it like this. So, and I look on the other side. And again, I've got the apex, but I've got right along the apex, lovely. Can you see where it's hitting the apex there? But I need to drop it again just a little bit further. No, that's coming back. You can see it coming back. Can you see that? It's coming back. You can see how it's nice and shiny right along the apex. So, I'm just leaning it back until I can get back there. And I want to get it all the same sort of level. I'm nearly having to reprofile this, which I didn't think I would have to. But, hey, that's what happens sometimes. It was a really cheap knife, so... 
But to be honest with you, and this is what you, you can feel whether a knife's got a, a good enough blade on it when you're sharpening. Um, that one's, I just want to get the top end of there. And you can share that if you do it differently and it, this is the joy about The joy about sharpening by hand is there's so many different ways of doing it. Now, I have got that all along where I need to get it. It's absolutely fine. It's quite a thin stock behind the edge, which is why I don't need to come back up where that marker is. You can see, if I can just show you this. There you go. It's pretty, same all the way up it which will do absolutely fine. You don't need to be too picky. Try not to be um, too picky. So I'm going to start on my other side now. And again, all you're doing is... Right, I'll give this a wee wipe. And that's all I do with these. Look, you've taken off what was on before. And I'm going to put it down and you just raise it up. You can, you can feel it. After a while, you can feel it. And all I'm going to do now is check that I'm getting to my apex, which is again that wee bit where the two sides come together at the top. I always like to get down there to the choil, because there's nothing worse than going to cut when you get down there and there's nothing there, because that's where most of the cuts, you know, if you're doing deep cuts, it sort of starts back at the choil. So. Now, that is really good. Now, but you see, this is it. When you're on this side and you're doing this, right? You, you, you make the angle that you want. When you turn over the other side, you already have an idea of where that angle is. So on the other side, I tend to find you get it really quickly. This is just perfectly straight along there. Oh, let me just see. Get my hand up and let you see. That is pretty good all the way along. Now, like I say, sometimes I don't get this, that you'll get a wee bit of a wave. That's my bad sharpening, but that's okay. Don't worry too much about it. So, now, I've got the angles that I want. Now I want to move the burr from one side to the other. So, I'll go back to my original side now, because that other side was done. So, I'm just going to do this. Feel the bite point. It's like a clutch. You can When you're tilting it up, you'll feel the bite, the bite point. Oh, practice. Hard to do behind the camera. So what I want to do is get the burr, which is, for those of you who don't know, the burr is when I'm sharpening on this side, I'm pulling the metal over the top of the knife so it will come up on this side. And that means that I'm coming across the very point and bringing it up on the top. So you should then start to feel, well, there you go. Now, I'm going to, right, the bottom half of it here isn't, and that's what I was saying about that little choil area. Now, get that bite point. You can feel that wee bite point when it comes. And I'm not putting any pressure. There's next to no pressure on my hand whatsoever. You just let the diamonds do the work. Now, there we go. Now, I'm going to bring this up and let's see if you can hear Can you hear that? And that's where the metal has come up and it's over the top. So that means I have got to the very point on that side. That's the really important bit to know with hand sharpening. With any sharpening is getting that burr all the way from here to here. No gaps. Make sure you've got everything because you can leave little gaps where it's not your fault. It's where the metal is maybe just that little bit thicker where it's been ground in the factory. And especially you'll get that with cheaper knives. The metal can be of different thicknesses. So you just have to work until you get that all over. Now, I hope that makes sense. Again, I'm maybe not the best person at explaining things. I, I just know it by doing it. Um, I just copied Jeff Jewell. Now, I didn't copy him perfectly because I'm not good, but I just copied him. Jeff Jewell, um, I Heart Knives. They're, they're two boys that I just go to religiously when I want to learn how to sharpen something. So I've now got the burr on this side. I brought it up on here, so now I want to get it to go back on the other side. So I start, get that little bite point. And once you've got that little bite point, it's just a matter of just gently 
keeping the blade. And all you're trying to do is keep it at that one angle. Um, and don't worry, really, really, you can, you'll get it. It just takes a little bit of practice to keep it at, at pace. Uh, I don't tend to hold my knife very, very tight. I think that's the best um, lesson I learned was keeping a loose grip on it. That way you're not going to dig into your diamonds because you can go through one of these diamond plates in a month if you dig into it because all you're doing is going to lift. You see all the wee diamonds? All you're doing is just going to gouge them out. Um, so I'll just check how I'm doing. Again, I always like just to check that wee bit down there because you tend not to get right up to the edge and the point. That's my stick in places. Now, what I'm going to do is to see that I've got the burr on this side. Right. Uh, I want another little bit that's not quite come across and there's there's the, that tells you the difference it's not quite come across so don't take a shortcut because there's nothing there make sure you get the bird at each side then you start to take it off now It's not quite, I can't, the bottom, this little bottom bit here, I just need to do a little bit more. Sometimes, again, it's just practice. Sorry, this is probably not the best TV in the world, but, ah, there you go now. Now, again, just to let you hear. Right up to the very tip. So that's it. That's basically, I have now got my apex. So now what I'm going to try and do is take a bit of that burr off. I don't want to go to this next stone with a big heavy burr on it. Because you're just wasting time trying to get the burr off. So gently, as light as you like. Just little nice light strokes. That's oh, right. Please remember, I'm behind a view camera here. It's quite difficult to just see exactly what you're doing. And just what you're trying to do is get that to that point, and then just go to that point. Feel the bite. Just think of your clutch. You had to feel that bite and that, and you thought you would never get that. Although a lot of you Americans are. Especially you Americans, Canadians, wherever you all have automatic cars, don't you? I have to say, I have now my first ever automatic car. But uh, I was used to a clutch all my life. So there we go. I can't feel that any burr there. So that means that it's ready. You know, I have plenty I can go on to the other side. The other thing you can do is you get a jeweler's loop. And what this does, I'll put this up here over the camera. And then you can bring your blade up now I don't know whether you can see that but what you can see is my, it's not perfect but it's not bad you know I seem to have got it and when you're looking at it oh let me just see this is difficult to do but when you've got it up to your eye looking you can actually see the the, the sharpening lines in your blade it's it's not strong enough to do with that camera but there we go so Another thing that I do is I always try to cut before I move on to the next, there we go. Now, look at the difference in that than when I first started it. So, it's cut. There's still a bit of a burr there. I didn't take it all off. I just give it a quick wipe. So now, what I want to do is the same thing again. So I'm coming up to my fine stone. Again, I lay my, my knife down. Bring it up till I feel that bite point. And this is a bigger stone, so again, don't... If you can see that <laughs> your finger's going like that, you're holding it too tight. Let go. Just no pressure. If you look at my nail, there's next to no pressure on it. And what I want to do then is just get the burr up on this side here. And it's just doing that process again. Now, 
as you go up the stones you don't want a big burst so you just want a so let me just have a quick feel Now, because I'd done that right the first time, and sometimes I have a habit of rushing, let me tell you, like a lot of people, let's get the shortcut. My burr is right along, and I, it's smaller than it was before, but it's right along there. So, again, what I'm going to do is find my bite point, and I'm going to transfer that burr over to the other side. What I want to feel is if I've got it over here. Yep, that's it. I mean, it really is as simple as that. That's it already done. I've moved it over here. So, now you can go on to a thousand grit stone, you can go on to 1500 foot grit stone if you want. This is just a work knife. So, I'm quite happy to have an edge that's maybe not as refined as a 2000 grit on ceramic this is just a a pocket knife i just want it to cut and sometimes a little bit of a coarse blade is a better cutter and you only find that out once you start sharpening yourself and you muck about with different stones and when you finish them so let me have a look at that now Now, how does this cut? It's not bad, but it's not great. So I obviously hadn't hit it as nice. So I'm going to go nice light pressure, tilt it up. And again on the other side. And it was such light pressure and you can hear the noise getting lighter and lighter and I just want to get that down there. I'm not trying to create anything other than just a smoothish edge of my knife. So, how's that? And you'll know, you'll know what you, when you feel it right. There we go, right along the blade. Still quite rough, but that's a 600 grit, you know what I mean? But that cut smoothly there, straight across it. So now I've got my strop. And my strop, again, this is just... The Warncliffe is a lovely blade for a strop because you just start and you go from one end till the other. And there's no a problem. Oh. Except when you're behind a camera trying to, so... It's so difficult behind the camera. Normally I sit to the side. Or, but uh, I think I'll be doing it more often to the side rather than this. It's quite difficult to keep your your angles when you're not looking directly at your blade. But you can see that, look, honestly, anybody can do this. Anybody. And if you start with a nice... This isn't really, really soft, but, it, you know, it's a softer blade. It's not like your uh, S30Vs or anything. This is a softer blade. This is a great way to learn. And on a, on a knife that costs you seven pounds, you're not going to be too worried about what your your actual grind looks like as long as it's sharp. Now, let me just show you what that looks like now after it's been stropped. It's quite symmetrical all the way up that side. And they're both about the same all the way up. Let's see if I can get you that. Both about the same all the way up. Now, let me see what it cuts like after just a couple of strops. That's pretty good at it. I mean, that's all you want. You can go on and you can do more and you can you can make the edge, whatever, when you... This is just me showing you how to get a basic edge on a knife at no time at all and very little cost. You do not need all this fancy stuff. Unless you're going to need this mirror edge if your knives are going to be sort of safe queens or you're going to put them away. 
And yeah, a lot of people say you get better cutting with a, you know, the mirror edge. <laughs> in, my, in my world, I couldn't be bothered sitting for all the time doing it. Um, no, I'll do it on my good knives. But most of the time, my good knives get mirror polish after a while because I've been stopping them every night after use. It's not my great sharpening. So look, there we go. I'm not going to make this anymore. It's now gone from completely dull to a knife that's just absolutely fine we'll get a day's work done so i hope you enjoyed that i hope that was a bit useful um just try it please i, I really encourage you and i love to hear people when you've tried it and they come back to me and said do you know i've got it Stephen? look at this here blades that just makes my day so if you have a go and you get your knife sharp for the first time please let me know because i love as much pleasure as you at uh at hearing your voice take care everybody it's done. Bye-bye now. All the best. Bye.